This lesson will demonstrate how to use the method of elimination to solve a system of equations. And the reason it's called elimination, it's also called addition subtraction, is because you're subtracting two equations or adding them to get rid of a variable, eliminate a variable, so you're left with only the other variable to solve for. And so what you do is you uh, multiply equations by numbers so that the x's are the same or the y's are the same or they're opposites. So when you add them together or subtract them, it eliminates an x or eliminates the y. In the first equation and the second equation here, I'm going to label them. The, that's the first, that's the second. Notice there's a 2x and a 3x here. The, the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6, or the smallest number that 2 and 3 both divide into evenly is 6. So what I'm going to do is take that first equation, and notice if I multiply 2x by 3, I'll, it'll become 6x. So I'm going to multiply the whole first equation by 3. The second equation, uh, in order to make this a 6x, the, remember again 6 is the least common multiple of 2 and 3, I would need to multiply this by 2. So I'll multiply the second equation by 2. Now, this means to multiply the whole first equation by 3, not just the 2x. So the 2x, the negative 5y, and the 3 all get multiplied by 3. So 2x times 3 is 6x. Negative 5y times 3 is negative 15y. 3 times 3 is this 9. And the second equation is multiplied by 2. So multiplying everything here by 2, 3x becomes 6x, 4y becomes 8y, and 16 times 2 is 32. Now notice now, these two equations have both start with a 6x. And so if we were to subtract them, 6x minus 6x is 0, nothing. That's how we eliminate the x's. So we're going to subtract here. 6x minus 6x is 0. Negative 15y minus 8y would be negative 23y. And 9 minus 32 is negative 23. And so we divide out the negative 23 and get y equals 1. Now, so we have y now. We need, need to find x now. So we take one of these equations. I'm going to use the first one. We're going to substitute the 1 in place of y here. So 5 times 1, of course, is 5. So we have a minus 5 here. So adding 5 to both sides, this will be gone. We'll just be left with 2x on the left. And adding 5 to 3, we get 8. So dividing out the 2, we get x equals 4. So we think we have a solution now. We will check to make sure. So in the first equation, the left side is 2x minus 5y. So substituting the 4 here and the 1 here, we have 8 minus 5, which of course is 3. And that's what's on the right side, so that equals the right side. So it checks in the first equation. Now we'll check it in the second one. 3x plus 4y is what's on the left side. So putting again the 4 here and the 1 in place of y. 12 plus 4 is this 16. So it equals the right side, so it checks. So the solution is x equals 4 and y equals 1. One more example on the next page. And again, we're asked to fall, solve this system using elimination. Now notice that this equation has a 1y in it. Uh, we could easily solve this by substitution too because it's so easy to solve for y. But if you have one of the equations that has a 1y or a 1x or a 1 whatever, then do this. I'll call again this the first one, this the second. Uh, if I were to multiply this equation by 2, then this would be this exact, actually exa exactly the opposite of this, but that's okay. So I'm going to first take the first equation and multiply it by 2. And so this would be 8x plus 2y equals 20. Then we can leave the second equation alone because the 2x, sorry, 2y and negative 2y are exact opposites. If they're opposites, opposites add to 0. We subtracted on the last page because the two 6x's were the same sign. Uh, things that are the same subtract to 0. But opposites add to 0. So that's why I'm going to add 2y and negative 2y will add to 0. So 8x and 5x is 13x and 20 and 19 is 39. Again the y's add to 0. So dividing out the 13 we get x equals 3. Now we need to find y. 
So I'm going to take the first equation and we're going to put 3 in place of x here and then solve for y. So 10 minus this 12 is negative 2. So y equals negative 2. So now we'll check. So in the first equation, the left side is 4x plus y. So placing 3 here and the negative 2 in place of y, we get 12 minus 2, of course, which of course is 10. So it is equal to the right side, so that's good. Second equation, 5x minus 2y is what's on the left side. So again, we're going to put 3 in place of x and the negative 2 in place of y. So 5 times 3 minus 2 times negative 2. 15, and this would be plus 4, is equal to 19. And so it checks. So our solution is x equals 3 and y equals negative 2. Once again, similar to uh, one of the earlier lessons, that means that if we were to graph this line and this line, they should intersect at the point 3, negative 2. And that's the end of the lesson.